State-of-the-art facility at Purdue's Department of Nutrition Science will lead the way for the exercise and nutrition research programs. News 18's Brad Oppenheim tells us about what goes on in the center and how it will benefit not only students, but researchers as well. A collaboration like no other is now possible to students and researchers thanks to a new facility at Purdue's Department of Nutrition Science. In January, the 4,000-square-foot Nutrition and Exercise Clinical Research Center opened its doors. Nutrition science professor Richard Mattis says while the exercise and nutrition programs worked with each other in the past, now there will be even more ways to integrate nutrition and exercise. While we collaborated with each other, we didn't really have the space or resources to pull things together. The new facility is located in Stone Hall and the construction came with a price tag of around two million dollars. The center will serve students and researchers studying clinical nutrition, exercise, appetite, and obesity. Research dietitian Amy Wright says with all of the resources at hand, the facility will serve as a learning tool for students. They're able to really take that um, experiences and, and grow them somewhere else. As part of one of its bionutrition services, the Metabolic Research Kitchen serves as a place where students and researchers can prep meals used for nutrition research. Sarah Huber is a research production assistant in the kitchen. She says being in the lab has given her a valuable experience. We get to be first-hand participants in the research that happens here at the Metabolic Kitchen, which is really fun, it's really exciting, and I've definitely gained a lot. Along with the kitchen and several other resources, the center also has an exercise laboratory, which has a wide array of exercise equipment. The equipment is capable of tracking an individual's metabolic information. Students and researchers also want to take their findings beyond Purdue, with plans to pass along the research to the community. The goal is for our research to be translated to the population, to take basic science and figuring out how to make it applicable to people leading their, their daily lives. Reporting in West Lafayette, Brad Oppenheim, News 18. And the center itself was dedicated on May 5th as part of the Department of Nutrition Science's 110th anniversary.